Hello everyone, this is Rishio George and here I'm going to discuss about my fourth Java experiment uh, and the topic is inheritance. So this is my question and here I have to create a class worker and I have to derive two child classes for one for daily worker and one for salaried worker and I have to make a method com pay in which I have to overwrite for as it may be different for daily worker and salaried worker. A daily worker will be paid according to the uh, number of hours he work, uh, number of day, days he work, uh, one day, two day, and salaried worker will be paid according to the number of hours. That is, he gets paid only when he he works 40 hours a week. So we have to implement this scenario, and we have to uh, use the concept of dynamic polymorphism. That is runtime polymorphism. So we'll see the code for this. So here's the code. It starts from import Java dot util dot scanner. This is because we are taking input from the user, so it is importing uh, the input method from util package, and then we have our main uh, two classes that is the child classes that is salaried worker and the daily worker that are extended. That these two are the child classes from the main uh, main parent class that is worker. So we'll see what is inside the salaried worker. So in salaried worker, we can see that we have an attribute three attributes that is R. Uh, and then to private data int uh, int r is equals to 5000 and scanner m for taking input and then we have this method uh, public void com pay so this r uh, uh, this int r is basically 5000 rupees uh, according to indian so this 5000 rupees wage uh, if a worker works for 40 hours a week he will get 5000 so we are showing system dot out dot print line enter the number of hours and we can take uh, from the user the number of pass by using uh, the variable m is equals to new scanner system dot in and then we are uh, initializing this variable to another variable that is r hour is equals to m dot next int this is the basic next int is basic method for taking integer value from the user and then we are having a set of uh, iterate uh, control statements that is if hour is greater than or equal to 40 then we can show that the wage is plus r that is the 5000 rupees the wage is uh, con uh, this plus is to concatenate r that is r is 5000 rupees or else if the r is less than 40 then we can show that you have worked less than 40 hours we cannot pay you and if another condition else if r is greater than 40 and our uh, divided by uh, uh, modulus 40 is equals to equals to 0 then we can show that r is equal to hour into 5000 so we can take the condition of uh, 80 if a worker hour, uh, works for 80 hours that is the double 40 hours so he'll be paid uh, 5000 into uh, the number of hours if it is 80 divided modulus 40 is gives us zero so we can show that system dot print the wage, the wage is plus r and then we have the another uh, child class that is a daily worker it also extends from the main parent class worker by using this uh, keyword extends and here also we are having two three attributes that is int wage is equals to 200 that is for one day and another another data for days that is private in days and the scanner method for taking input and here also we are having the same function void comp pay and here we are showing the enter the number of days of work and we are taking the uh, input from the user that from this variable d d is equals to new scanner system dot n and then uh, we are storing this variable in another variable that is days days is equals to do, uh, d dot next int for taking an integer value and then we are having int dw is equals to wage into number of days so if uh, it is it's for one day you can get 200 rupees if it is for two days 400 it multiplies the number of days uh, into the wage so system dot out print uh, total wage is d dw that is this is equals to this formula and then we have the main parent class public class worker and inside this we have the void uh, main method that is public st static void main string arguments and we have taken uh, an attribute string name for taking the name of the worker uh, then we are having system dot print uh, dot out dot print ln that is enter the name of employee and we can take this from the scanner method uh, scanner name one this is the variable name one is equals to new scanner system dot n and for taking any uh, string value from the user we have to use this 
method that is next bracket dot to string uh, like for integer we have to use next int for string method we can take next bracket uh, next parenthesis dot to string and name is equals to name one we are initializing to another variable and then we can show the output that is system dot print ln the name is name this one so it shows in this name one and then we can show the system dot out print line press one for salary worker and two for daily worker so here uh, we are using a switch case one for salaried and two for daily worker so here we have taken the input from the user like int i is equals to name one dot next in so if the user keeps one or two so that this is the name one and we are using the switch i that is this variable so that uh, taking from the user the input and this is for case one system dot out dot print line for salaried worker so here we are using the concept of as i already said the concept of dynamic polymorphism so what is dynamic polymorphism we are taking the parent class here and it is referring its object to the child class that is worker ob the object is referring to the child class so it creates a new child class the uh, object for a uh, uh, refers to the new child class that is new salaried worker and through that object we are calling that function so it goes to the uh, through this object we are going to the comp p and where this this uh, ob refers it refers to the salaried worker so we go to the comp p of this salaried worker here mm -hmm. yes this method and then uh, we are breaking the uh, case one and then we go to case two here system dot out dot print ln for daily worker and here also we are using the same concept that is worker ob1 we are creating another object for this ob1 is equals to new daily worker through the parent class we are uh, creating an object which refers to the daily worker and then through this object we are invoking or calling the compay method and then the default method that is system dot out dot print ln, ln wrong input if we, the user gives any other input from one or two from the for the switch cases so break and this public word compay is basically for the overriding method yeah we have to for any over uh, for overriding a function we have to keep a function in the parent class and it can have any body here i have kept it empty so we don't need any body inside it we can modify in the child classes so we can see the output here so enter the name of employee we can give anything Fresh enter 1 for salaried worker and 2 for daily worker so if we give 2 then he goes for daily worker enter the number of days so if we give 3 the total wage is 600 and I already told the number of days into the daily wage as we have already initialized 200 now we will see for uh, salaried worker that is fresh 1 now if we go for num enter the number of hours we go for 40 the wage is 5000 we give 41 42 or uh, then also it will show 5000 and if we give less than 40 then you are not eligible as you have to work at least 40 hours as specified in the question so that was all about inheritance and dynamic polymorphism uh, so thank you for watching my video